And I'm also, um, another thing that's good for this series is, um, you know, try, uh, doing uh, trial and error on different locations. I noticed the last time my keyboard was really loud because I had the mic lower, so I, um, So it wouldn't be in my way when I was recording because right now I'm kind of looking through the mic and this game's behind it. It's kind of at eye level and the left one third of my screen I can't really see unless I move my head. So I was trying to prevent that and I actually put the microphone lower down near the desk table and it was picking up the sounds of the keyboard really bad. So, different mic placement, again, because it, when I first started, it was, um, I was too close to it, and you could hear every spittle and spattle in my mouth, and, um, that was a better one, it only spread two blocks, it's almost like I was prepared for that. And the last time it was getting too much of my keyboard, and that was no good. Because keyboard sounds, I mean, they're inevitable in a lot of videos, but when it's almost as loud as your voice, it's not, it's not really that professional. And I say professional even though right now I'm not trying to be that professional. If I was, I wouldn't be doing an uncut series because that's unprofessional. <laughs> but I'm going in that direction. I'm trying to go from unprofessional to professional. I'm getting pretty close. We're going to 411. And I don't remember if that is the exact location of the spawner. I'm just going to I'll staircase down just to get a look. Hopefully Oh, okay. I was going to say, where, where is that uh, fortress again? But I see fortress there. And I think uh, if I were to be able to look backwards, the spawner was right there. So this would be a good place to go down. And do I have any normal blocks? I do. Well, you know, I'm going to die. <laughs> well, <coughs> that's right. This time I did it on camera. That was a big mistake. So I'm thinking how I should go about getting there again. Let's see, I got food, good. I'm going to bring this just in case. I'm going to bring the ladders. I'm going to bring some of that. Dang it. I wonder why there was blocks there. Um. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna go. And hopefully, uh, instead of jumping where I did jump that time, I'm going to jump on the other ledge and hopefully I survive that jump. So I actually didn't think I was that high up. I didn't think I was high enough to die there. So it was kind of surprising that I died, which makes number four. They're happening more and more. I was told yesterday that I have six on my um, server world, and three of them were making the gold gold farm because I was up high in the nether. And one of them I was AFKing and forgot that I was on a server, and I was <laughs> it became night and a zombie came along and killed me. And that was fun trying to get all my diamond armor back. Imagine how long it take took for that zombie to kill me. Uh, with maxed out iron, uh, diamond armor on it. Then I had to go get it back. Derpy deaths. I wonder what the multiplayer chunk cache is. So, am I going to run all this way for no reason at all just to die again? I hope not. I'm really hoping that I can make that ledge. Yeah, yeah. That was really bad. That was really amateurish. Unprofessional, as they say. So if there is a CTM map, or anything that you would like um, map-wise, puzzle map or whatever, uh, parkour map, which I hate, uh, I'm not a parkour fan, um, let me know. I'll try it. Because um, I am looking to add better content to this channel. Basically what I'm thinking, record-wise, um, this series for a whole week of episodes takes two hours to record. I'm thinking a single-player episode done properly should take six to eight hours to record. That includes getting the product for it, setting up the episode, and recording the freaking thing. Um, and I'm thinking each episode of a CTM map would take... I would say one, maybe two hours to record a 20 minute because there are edits in that. I might be over exaggerating the time on that one. And um, the Athens server thing uh, it would probably take six, eight hours to record an episode. Maybe not as long as SMP because maybe there'll be collaborations um, with other people on the server. But a lot of the people that I uh, play with have been playing Minecraft for so long that they're just completely sick and tired of vanilla and love the mod pack thing. And I'm not a big mod fan. I mean, I like it. But I'd rather play vanilla. I'd like the grindy aspect of vanilla. Let's see if there's a way... down there like this hopefully I don't know nope I'm a little upset about that death, and I don't want to hang out here too long because um, 
I don't want my crap to despawn. All my good stuff is there. Well, actually, no, just my good work can pick, I guess. Okay, let's get over here. And let's hope we can make that this jump. No, not again. Fuck. Sometimes you keep your mouth closed for reasons. And right now I have good reasons to keep my mouth closed. And I didn't really feel like a, going after a creeper. Why are you spazzing? I didn't feel like going after a creeper. And, um, yeah. I'll put you on. What else do I want? I want a slime block to jump on. I take you. And I need a generic pickaxe. There we go, a generic pickaxe. Okay, let's try this again, fellas. Oh, let's get some little food. We need a little bit of food. Do we have a little bit of food somewhere? We don't, do we? We'll take some apples. It's not like I'm going to use them all up. <clears throat> so, let's try this again before I throw this computer on the ground and stomp on it. I'm having feelings of deja vu. We obviously don't need the F3 screen on. Sorry for that length of time with the F3. Yeah. This is about as yeah, fucking fucking as I have been in the series so far. Is that number five? Let's see if I can not shift and walk off a block that's too high off the ground again. Embarrassing. Hashtag. Put head in sand. Hashtag. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> so yeah, I am actually... There is a person I've befriended a little bit. Um, her name is Mary. She's Lapis Demon. She just did the Hermitcraft UHC with X. And um, she has an ability that um, I also have, which connected us. Um, and I don't know if I've ever said this word right, synesthesia. Which means when you hear music, when you listen to music, you can visualize certain things. She visualizes colors. Um, I can actually see the music and I've made videos or tried to make videos of what I see when I listen to specific songs. And um, I think she's German. I'm not too sure. I don't really... I haven't really hung out and talked with her, but we message each other back and forth about different music that is good to listen to uh, for what we do. And she makes her own music, and I, you know, um, do also. So we are combined in that way. And uh, she just died. She was the second to last member <laughs> in the last Hermitcraft UHC 
and she died to cube hamster she's not a pvp player she seems a little anxious and nervous about things but um the reason that i started talking to her was when she i saw a post that she had the synesthesia and she posted some of her music and it was really good um and what she does with her videos is she takes one of her songs and she specifically makes vi uh, music that you can loop. Uh, basically, I don't know if she actually loops it mid-song. You, you can take a program like Audacity, bring the WAV file in, and you can hit it right at the beginning of a beat and kind of hit the shift key and hit play and it will keep on looping and it won't feel like it's cut at all. It's kind of like making a GIF or something. you got to... Do it just right, um, and it takes some practice to learn where you can cut music and do it. Um, and obviously, I've done a lot of work like that, being a musician and uh, recording. And so I'm thinking part of creating music to put behind these episodes. A lot of the um, people who make YouTube videos with Minecraft put music very quietly in the background so when there's nothing going on like this there's music playing so you don't hear my footsteps you hear a beat in the background going or whatever just to keep things interesting and um, I'm thinking when I record this specifically, I hope my shit's down here still. And I hope I don't die. Okay. Let me concentrate a little bit. Get this down here. My shit is still there. I just want to get over to this. So hopefully when I fall off, I fall to a place, I'm even going to go over a little bit more. Okay, here we go, Dromino, hope I don't die. Phew. I am alive still. Now let's not fall off this cliff. And how do I get down there? There we go. Here's all my shit. There's my good expensive stuff. Oop, get my white fire. Don't want to lose a white fire. I don't know how much stuff I lost in the falls. But it looks like I picked up most of it. Why do I have iron pants? Am I still wearing iron armor in this game? I am. And it's not even enchanted. What the hell? Now let's go like this. I'm hoping I'm not close enough. Where's my torches? I don't have any torches. Where did they go? My bucket of water. This is where the guy aggro's the oh holy shit that is up high. This is where um, the blaze gets aggroed and shoots me off the pill. I only have nine arrows. Really? Okay. Here we go. Well... I have successfully 
save my ass. Let's get some of these. Let's eat a little apple. Let's do a little bit of a ladder drop. Let's hopefully not get fucked up from this. I'm being ultra careful because last time I did this I fell. And I don't feel like dying again in this episode. I'll be a little more braver the lower I get. Because... It's not like I'm going to die down here. So, hello, Mr. Blaze. I am going to make you into a blaze spawner. But I'm not going to um, do that today. I just made a path for you. So let me go back up here and run away. Run away! Run away! It's probably not a good idea that I'm over here. That close to the spawner itself. I guess I could use a ladder here. Excellent. So, what I should really do, what exactly is my coordinate here? Because it's not cool to 423. It's not really cool to, um, have the stairway down then go to a ladder just make the stupid ladder here that should be close let's put a couple ladders down Let's see. There's the rest of you. Uh-uh. Where did you go? There you are. And I'm going to get rid of this block. Just so it doesn't look as bad. And... So let's go. This tunnel is done. Well, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's actually not done per se. But uh, I can now get to this without having to get lost in the nether like I did the first well, just look at how many episodes I have the word frustrating in the title. KMA's corner fell from a high place. KMA's corner fell from a high place. So.